Right, so product review time again, and this time it's a uh, breakout board for ATX power supplies. It uses the 24-pin uh, ATX connector on uh, regular PC power supplies to uh, use them more like a lab power supply. Uh, this board costs about seven bucks ish, something like that, and sadly it is a bit of a mixed bag. For starters, you notice that these binding posts do not have any holes for full four millimeter banana plugs, and uh, worse than that, the shafts do not have any holes in them, so you cannot stick wires through them. So you have to either use sort of uh, spade lugs or something, or try to wrap wires around these. It's not great for the uh, high amounts of current you can push from a ATX power supply. Speaking of current, that brings us to the fuses. These four fuses are all 20 amps. However, a uh, standard ATX power supply can usually uh, output like 1 amp on the negative 12 volt rail. So you can severely overload that if the power supply does not shut down. Similarly, uh, the 3.3 volt rail is also fused 20 amps, but you can see that the fuse is actually loose in the holder. It's not brilliant, but that it's there, I guess. There is a power switch, that's handy, and there's a power LED, so uh, let's hook this up and see. So, here we are hooked up, uh, you got a voltmeter here, you got an ATX power supply, and the board in question. So, if we uh, flip the power switch here, you can see the uh, LED comes on and the power supply is starting up. So, if we do some measurements here, we have a negative 12 volts, uh, it's all hunky-dory. We got plus 12, yep, it's all there, plus 5. Jiggle it around, there is no plus five. Why is there no plus five? Oh, oh, there it is. The fuse holder is apparently losing plus five as well. And 3.3 uh, volts. Uh, get a loose holder, but it's there. So, yeah, sort of works. Could do some, could do with some quality control, I think. So, well, if you want to tinker some with this, this is not a bad board. The uh, PCB itself is not bad quality, but it could do with some other fuse holders and really some better binding posts for this to be very useful. But overall, yeah, it's alright, I guess. So, yeah, there you go.